Take two or three or four or five of each picture. Uh, along with that, take, especially on you know, any kind of little, most, with the exception of the Holga and one of the other cameras I used to use a lot was uh, Hasselblad cameras. They also take a square picture. But other than those, uh, most cameras take a, a rectangle. So shoot verticals and horizontal. They look entirely different. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the, the drag queen photographs. You got um, a real mix of that. And partly that was shot that way because you don't know what the magazine is going to use. You don't know what the magazine is going to run, whether they, they want on a page they're going to want. You know, two verticals and a horizontal, or whatever the hell it is. You know, but um, this photo here, there is also a uh, horizontal ver version of that photograph. Yeah, you saw it in, in the, the first slideshow that I showed. You. So the, the point being, mix it up a little bit. You know, out of that three, four photos, shoot, shoot a couple horizontal, a couple verticals. Unless it's a landscape, obviously, then landscapes primarily they, they look better in a horizontal, pretty much 100% of the time. Um, if you're shooting uh, kids at all, I already said, you know, maybe some of you want to do, I don't want everybody to go and do your photo essay about kids, because then Daniel's going to get bored and pissed yeah, at me. So, you know, try, try to limit yourself. But if you are shooting kids, they have a really limited attention span. They're good for like five minutes, and then they, you know, they don't want the picture taken anymore. Uh, there's a couple ways you can, you know, if, if you get them involved, get them to take some of the pictures, you know. Like, okay, you take one of me now, and then back, you know, the camera goes back and forth, that helps a bit. Um, one, one thing we should talk about, uh, natural light versus existing light. I can't remember who it was. One of you guys was taking a picture, and I said to take the flash, to turn the flash on. There's a huge difference uh, between pictures uh, taken with what we call natural light, ambient light, or available light. They're all kind of the same thing. Natural light kind of implies the sun, um, but available light is whatever light is available without using supplemental light or flash. It's also referred to as ambient light. <clears throat> There's an entirely different feel to a picture that's shot with ambient light versus a shot with the flash. Uh, flash tends to get very garish, in your face kind of colors. Um, it, it, it also kind of tends to wash things out a little bit. The, the features disappear and the, the face just becomes very white. Uh, whenever possible, I would, I would recommend taking pictures without flash. Obviously, sometimes you're indoors, there isn't enough light. You have to use a flash, but before you do that, I would, I would look and say, oh, can we, can we open these curtains here, turn all these lights? And I would try that first. You, you get much better pictures. Um, the flashes that are built into little little cameras, uh, although these cameras work really well, the, the flashes don't. They're just sort of like, poof, here's your flash. You know, it's, uh, there's no subtlety whatsoever in it. You know, it tends to look pretty horrible. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, on all these little cameras, there's a feature called red eye, red eye pre-flash. And what it, what it does, the, you've, you've all seen photographs where the eyes are red. Basically what, what that happened, the, the, the problem there is the flash, which is in this top corner here, is much too close to the lens. On, on professional cameras, the flash ends up about here. So what happens is that the, the flash goes straight out into your eye, hits the, the back of your eye where the blood is, the blood being red, bounces back right into the camera. If the flash is a bit higher, it comes on an angle. So you don't get the red eye. So how they got around that is they built in a feature called red eye uh, pre-flash. So what happens is there's a flash goes out. It's like you've seen it. It goes beep, 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 a little bright flash two or three times. And what that does is closes down your eye so you don't get that red eye. But the problem with the, the red eye feature is everybody's sitting around waiting for, you, for the, 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 the camera to go off. It's like beep, 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 beep. And you got like a one or two second delay. So half the time, you're like, beep, 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 and the kid's gone. Yeah. <laughs> or the dog, where'd the dog go? You know, and the camera's still taking the picture. So now with computers, it's so easy to fix the red eye in the computer. I would suggest 
everybody turn that feature off. It's very easy. It's like on this one, you know, you just hit features. It's, it's red eye on, red eye off. Boom, there you go. And it, it'll make it so much easier to take pictures. And if you do, in an unlikely event, you get red eye, you can always fix it so easily on the computer. That, that's, the red eye thing was just a, a marketing feature to get people like, oh, all my pictures have red eye. And then they, hey, ours fixes red eye. But you can't take a picture if the camera's taking a picture two seconds later than you want to take a picture. So take that off. It's horrible. Um, uh, if, you're, if you're taking pictures through windows or mirrors, um, you, you're going to get either your reflection or the reflection of the flash. Simple fix, for instance, if this is a, a window or a mirror, the screen, just take it on there. Literally just off to the side a little bit, and then what happens is that your reflection in the flash goes up there. It doesn't come back to the camera. It's a very easy fix. And, and you don't even have to move that much, just a few feet to the side. And um, that's about it. That's my quickie photo. So that's excellent. It's 320. So